Hot Siren 4 has this little thing called reliability and usually it's around 90% and if it goes below your equipment sucks. Well I thought what if we always reach the lowest reliability possible. For example here on the normal guns we can get it down to 63%. We will have to cheat a bit by the way because no way in hell I'm gonna get all the XP for this. Mm, yes 20% reliability artillery. That is definitely not gonna blow up in their face. Ah perfect war to test our great equipment. <laughs> We lost 24 anti-tanks. We produced 2.2 a day. That is 12 days of equipment production lost in two battles with two divisions. My hope is when I annex Austria, Poland, etc. They will have some nice equipment. At least stuff that doesn't blow up in your face after five minutes. Yeah, the remilitization of the Rhineland. Fear me. And fear standing next to our artillery. If you're far away, you're safe. It's not gonna hit you. But if you're next to it, it's gonna blow up. One cent. Why? My guys are not recovering organization because of reliability. That is something I didn't know exists. Over here we can regenerate. Just not over here. The organization regain. It kills us so much, we can't regenerate. We have some equipment now, but that will only last until we get into our first major battle. This is what we lost since the beginning of the Civil War. Only from attrition from two units. But hey, who needs equipment when you can just encircle Madrid? Communists hate this one simple trick. They did a naval invasion with camels. I'm not sure how that works, but why not? I would say this was a great success. We killed many Soviets. Despite losing maybe a few hundred pieces of artillery, which was not necessary at all. But overall, we won. Yoink. Thank you for the free guns. Once we have these research, we can make a tank, which is hopefully extremely low in liability. <laughs> it would be very historic if we would take the mouse or something. But we do not have enough production to mass produce instant breaking mouse. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go for the light tank. Oh, reliability minus 10%. Let's go. Another 10% reliability gun. Can put multiple of those on it. Let's go. Yeah, sorry, radio. You're not gonna be here. We need that place for extra. Okay, that's already fairly low, but we can get that lower once we get more research. We can get reliability down another 20%. Wait, reliability minus 50%? Yes. Okay, oh, yeah. never mind. We don't need extra. This is not for leopard, this is a house cat. And with this company we get 5% less reliability. This behemoth costs 16 production. It breaks instantly. Renew the non-aggression pack of Poland. Um, Nah. Crap, this thing needs a lot of chromium. Oh, oh Yugoslavia, we're coming for you next. Oh no, I can also bring my trucks down to 60% reliability. But yes, thank you, Italy. Italian weapons. Not sure if I want them or the guns that will blow up in my face. Only both will probably do the same. Anyway, Mr. Yugoslavia, I still need that chromium around here. I love when the French AI gets encircled in Romania. They come here every time and they die every time. Ah, look at all these French people are about to be cut off. I don't even think I'm gonna need to go around for... Imagine no. I have entire French army dying in Romania and Italy still can't hold their borders. I only need to take this port over here and all the French troops in Yugoslavia also cut off. Let's go. 300 of our 800 tank losses are due to attrition. In fact, we have nearly lost as much artillery from attrition as from combat. Uh, I think I can just go through the Maginot right here. Yeah, I don't even need to go around it. Who needs to go around the Maginot? That thing is a piece of paper with no French people on it. I still want these countries, so why not? Mm, silly Dutch person. Your bicycles have nothing against my guns. Even though your bikes are probably more reliable than my guns. Okay, I gotta give one to these house cats. They're very fast. How fast are these house cats? 12 kilometers an hour. This thing is so fast. Okay, now we're just missing a bunch of house cats. But we're producing them, just not a lot. This is 74 factories making 12 house kits. We're so fast, the Soviets did not take over the Baltics yet. If they do that while I invade them, they're just gonna teleport behind me, hello there kid, and cut me off. House cat versus Lithuanian tank. House cat is winning. <laughs> we're just driving around their lines. <laughs> we literally said elbows or speed issue. <laughs> These house cats are really great. I'm just afraid what will happen when they get into like real sustained combat and not just like a drive by of a tiny country. One second. We're losing a bunch of stuff to attrition. Where the hell are we attritioning that much? I don't see where we're being attritioned. 
No unit is taking attrition. Is, am I blind? Oh, wait, we're getting 200 Indians a week. That is very weird. How am I getting here? Housecat go brrr. Okay, no, Housecat doesn't go brrr. Housecat doesn't have any fuel. We're losing so much anti-anti <laughs> attrition. We're losing all of our artillery to attrition. And look at how many cats we're losing. We're losing over eight times as many house cats due to attrition than to actually using them in combat. Wait, why the hell are we attritioning here? There's 11 supply remaining. What? Even this one is attritioning. Okay, something here is broken. It says 9.35 remaining. Why are you attritioning? Maybe if I release Poland, will this somehow fix it? Poland, I will give you all the east. Wait, but actually fix it. What? What did this change? And immediately encircle a bunch of divisions. Oh, this is so great. I already know they cannot take on this much territory, though. It will rebel against them so fast, so let's hurry this up. Now the Italians are also coming over here. What the? Now there's attrition again because they're all arriving. No. No. I don't know what is happening anymore, but I know we're encircling a bunch of divisions, so I don't really care. But on the other hand, we're getting a lot of attrition, which means all of our equipment is disappearing again. <laughs> no. We haven't lost a single tank in combat, but 95 have just blown up. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I didn't take Denmark, so they're able to invade me. Uh oh, let me quickly fix that. Wait, what the hell? They were guaranteed by Finland and Sweden. Oh no, Poland's territory is about to revolt. You know what? Let me take them back. You don't need them. I hope the attrition doesn't reappear. Attrition just comes back full and force again. Now what if I give it to Italy? Does it fix the supply? Yes, it fixed it again. What is this? Okay, Italy, what the hell? <laughs> Let's not push towards that. They can keep it. I don't want the allies flooding in. And the southern front has also just collapsed. And look who decides to join us. Around 13 times the amount of tanks lost in attrition than combat. But hey, we've recovered one of those. Oh no, the supply demon has returned. Oh no, Italy, what have you done? Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna build a defensive line here. Vlasov is gonna hold it. We can trust Vlasov. Well, would you look at that? If only Italy had some defense divisions to defend their border. They're garrisoning my ports instead. Bulgaria is coming down to help them. Bulgaria. Mm. I'm gonna send the house cats down there. They're gonna deal with that. Ah, these house cats were a great investment. Just very sad that they explode after five minutes of usage time, so I can't make a huge army with them. My last call up went through and I finally got it. We have done it. It was a pain. Is this challenge possible? Yes. Would it have been way easier without all of a sudden the supply just disappearing for no reason? I'm sure there's a reason. And you're all gonna flame in the comments, like always, like, hey, 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 you don't know how to play this game. No, no, I don't. I don't. But it is possible. It is a bit of an issue that your tanks just blow up in your face, but that's fine. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.